moment to brew your own coffee is usually a rite of passage on any college campus. You guys have like a coffee lab. But at UC Davis in California, Java isn't just a percolating prerequisite. The design of coffee is a full-on engineering elective filtering through more than 2,000 undergraduate students every year. The water moves through the coffee grounds as a function of how hard you push on it. It all started when professors Bill Ristenpart and Tanya Cool wanted to bring hands-on lab work to chemical engineering students. You guys are ruining coffee for me already, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> and that jolted an entire course. Coffee was a mechanism where they could do experiments with chemical engineering in a safe way. How popular is this class? A few years ago, the student newspaper ran a survey. A three was introduction to beer burn. Number two is introduction to human sexuality. Number one was coffee. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. Be you guys beat beer. You guys beat we sex. We beat beer. Ed? Yeah. Do you see Davis? Coffee is more popular than beer and sex. <laughs> That smells delicious. Mm. It's black. I usually don't drink coffee black. It's gonna have a little more hint of a bitterness to it. Wow. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at this. Oh, goosebumps. Uh, this is a uh, blend of coffee from Peru and Timor Leste. Tim Stachinsky is the head roaster at the new state-of-the-art coffee research lab. He explained, while eyes are deceiving, the best roasters rely on smell and sound. Take a listen to this. Popcorn! It sounds like, it sounds like popcorn. That's right, that first crack is the cornerstone of how any of us take our coffee. You know light to dark roasts? Well, anything right after that first little chemical explosion of a coffee bean is considered light and medium as the roasting timer keeps running up until you hear a second crack. Then you're entering dark roast territory. Coffee seems simple. You know, it's like, how hard is it to pour hot water over a brown powder? But once you get in the details, like very minor changes in how you roast it, how you brew it, have a tremendous impact on the flavor of the coffee. It sounds like all your courses, it's everything from history of the world, to culture, to like thermodynamics, to chemical engineering, all of it in, in a cup of coffee. And those finer details of roasting have proven to be a perfect playground for engineers. So this is the assignment of the day, huh? Yes. Cheers. Perfect for a morning class. I uh, win-win, right? Oh, that's an A, guys. Yeah. That's, a, that's an A over here. Wow. Wait, so what did you guys write down on this one? Sensory evaluations. Disgusting, <laughs> really burnt, and bitter. What, do I want to taste a bad one? OK, let's do it. Bottoms up. This is bad coffee right here. Scientifically proven to be bad coffee. <laughs> wow, good job with the bad coffee. The best cup of coffee I've ever had in my life was in this class, they came in, they, the TA called me over and said, you gotta taste this. And I was astonished. I said, like, what did you guys do? How did you make this? And, like, they had this, like, like very frantic conversation. They were, like, looking through all their notes. And they he said, Professor, sorry, we didn't write it down. No, <laughs> no! So, which means the recipe for the perfect cup of coffee is still waiting to be found. And hopefully this time, someone will write it down. To the future of coffee! <laughs> Cheers! Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.